Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on use of the describe function in Stata. What is the describe function? Let's find out by first preloading a data set and let's say census 13 is what we've chosen. That's your 1980 census data pre-built in Stata. Now the describe function is simply the word describe and what it does is it shows you all the variable names in the data set, storage type, display format, value label, and perhaps most important variable label so you know exactly what is being represented in the data set. You have some helpful metadata here so you know what the data are about uh, when they were created. You know how many observations are in the data set, what the size of the, the data set is and how many variables are in there. So that's useful information to have. I'm going to show you something that's kind of of interest. Uh, the list command is also very useful and is somewhat overlapping with describe. Here, because we have 50 states, if you enter list, notice that you're not going to get all 50 states listed for you. You have to sit here clicking on more in order to get that information. Um, I would like to show you something that I like to do when I'm looking at a data set. I prefer to put in list first and describe second. And when you push enter, notice that putting describe as the second command on that second line of code forces data to execute the entire list function for you. So you don't have to sit there clicking through it. Anyway, I hope this tutorial was useful for you. I know that describe sounds like just such a very basic simple function, but these kinds of things actually do deserve videos of their own because the way competence is built in Stata, in SPSS, in statistics, in mathematics, in life is through scaffolding. It's through learning small things and building on them as you go forward. And one thing we noticed at 272analytics.com is that you know many of these smaller features are, are not really easy to understand or access. They could be buried in a 13,000 page uh, you know uh, technical manual uh, somewhere. Uh, they're skipped over in other tutorials because people assume that you already know how to do them. So we think it's very, very important to just start from the absolute basics and make sure that even the very simplest things in a program like Stata are clearly explained because that is how competence really is developed in not just Stata, but we think really in anything that you pursue in life. Uh, I do encourage you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free tutorials, not just in Stata, but SPSS, R, eViews, Minitab. We are data consultants, so I also encourage you to visit our site and contact us if you need assistance with your thesis, your dissertation, uh, advanced undergraduate projects, essentially any academic work whatsoever with a data modeling, data analysis component. We can assist with methodology, analysis, interpretation, coding, uh, you name it. We are the data experts and there's really no problem that we haven't seen. We provide ethical guidance, so our work is not writing, it's a blueprint. It shows you really how to construct the perfect chapter three or chapter four. It shows you what you need to see in order to understand and explain your own data with confidence, be it in a paper format, be it in a dissertation defense format. Let us transfer our data expertise to you. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.